blockchain has yet to have its true interface moment. The interface moment is the moment when the complexity of a technology becomes hidden, enabling that technology to become mainstream. It's what I call a user interface moment, when an individual creates a user interface that allows an average individual to use very complex, very limited hardware. Today, we are gonna highlight which protocol may bring the interface moment to blockchain. Incredible futurist uh, Peter Diamantis calls these the interface moments, the moments when the complexity of these technologies that are generally in a small niche set of users suddenly become mainstream. And they become mainstream because of two factors. One on one side is that people can create things on this confluence of technologies to make money. They actually get motivated to do it. And the reason is because on the other side, there's an interface layer where people can consume it simply, easily, conveniently. And that's what the web did to the internet. That's what the iPhone in some ways did to mobile internet. And now we have the next great step change. Today, the blockchain is still in its pre-browser phase. Many of us understand the power that blockchain has to transform the world, but it's still too tech focused and difficult to use to fulfill its promises. Block V aims to be the interface moment of blockchain. Blockchain is a protocol, very much like TCP IP, the internet is a protocol, but it's not really been something that any of us use anywhere near as much as we use the internet. If you remember the very first time you used the internet and you said, what is this thing called email or what is this thing of a web browser? That same transition is occurring right now. And Block V is an interface moment. It's, uh, it's something that's lying on top of blockchain that's gonna allow blockchain to become extraordinarily usable. It's gonna create tremendous amount of wealth and it's gonna change the way that we think of and use uh, blockchain in general. I think you'll walk away with a, not only an interface moment but a holy shit moment as well. Join me as I read from the Block V white paper. Block V is the interface moment for blockchain. Block V provides the interface protocol overlay on the developer stack, the layer necessary to unleash exponential mainstream adoption. Block V enables the rapid development and distribution of interactive smart objects, experiential currency that interacts with the end user. The most common units of provision for blockchain applications are virtual currencies. And yet, the user interface layer for this asset has yet to mature. Block V allows the currency to come alive and interact meaningfully with the end user for the first time. In essence, it turns virtual currency into dynamic virtual goods. The power of distributed ledger architecture is now connecting to the actual end user experience on top of a shared data layer that becomes more powerful with each additional application built. At its heart, Block V is an open source shared protocol that enhances the underlying distributed ledger and is made available to individual applications. Block V provides the vital piece of plumbing necessary for user-centric revenue generating blockchain applications. When a conduit of value like Bitcoin or Ethereum token evolves from a simple container or smart contract to an emotionally satisfying multimedia experience, the promise of widespread adoption can be realized. Suddenly, cryptocurrencies become not just units of value, but units of engagement value as well. This, enhanced, en this enhances the nature of digital ownership with the power of human imagination. Okay, so I've put together this graphic here to help visually explain what's going on with block v right now so on the bottom you see the layer ones which is the blockchain and block v is sitting on top acting as an interface layer 
um, for which the biggest companies in the world are utilizing. So you have Smart Media and Batum, which right now are the only ones that I'm aware of who are licensed to use Block V, because Block V has yet, yet to be open sourced. Right now it is closed sourced, and Smart Media and Vadim are the only ones who are able to use it. And they are using it with the, the biggest companies and organizations in the world, Verizon, Google, Intel, Accenture, Niantic, World Economic Forum, Starbucks, and more. If you follow this channel, you're well aware of that. But I, I hope this illustration uh, helps you guys understand how Block V is sitting on top of the blockchain and is being utilized to make it come to life. As of now, Block V has yet to be open sourced, but it is in the plans. And when it is open source, that is when we will truly know if Block V is going to be the interface moment of blockchain. They promise, and by they I mean Reeve Collins, Eric Poulier, and the circumstantial evidence of all the corporations choosing Block V as the underlying protocol to build their Web3 applications, but they are promising that Block V will be open sourced and that when it does, it will bring the interface moment. It will provide the tools so that anybody can build applications on top of blockchain the same way that anybody can build a website. I don't care who you are. If you can use an email today and you can use Facebook, then you can build a website thanks to the tools that are provided. And so Block V is attempting and promising to be the, the provider of the tools for blockchain. Make sure you stay up to date with this channel because in the near future, I'm going to bring some information forward that highlights exactly how and when Block V might be open sourced. See you next time. V powers that platform. It powers the protocol. And now there's companies built on top of Block V, SMT being one of them. And, and now that company, the goal is to power Web3. It's an enterprise solution. It creates wallets, NFTs, metaverse environments for large global organizations.